Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. God bless you. We are so happy the third day because we know that God is using a process even in us here in studio. God is There, there are some process that God is using to change us, even to us. We have not yet uh, reached. We are trying, like Paul said, we are struggling to make sure that we attain the goal of perfection. So as God changes you, he's also changing us. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, yesterday I dealt with, with the second process that God uses. Number one, I said God used concern. Number two, Yesterday I said about crisis. Now today I want to deal with the third process, the process of choice. Choice, choice is whereby you make a, uh, you decide on what to do. You decide whether to continue. You decide whether to go back. You decide whether to cope with the situation. You decide love what to do in order to continue. Hallelujah. And in this process, normally God uses your mind. God deals with your mind. Whereby the problem become bigger and you are feeling now, what do I do? Should I continue? living in this house if you are married? Should I continue working in this place? Should I continue feeding my children? Should I continue preaching the gospel? Because even as pastors, God normally uses process. Now that you are thinking that in the uh, in new year your church will glow up, yet still it is stagnant and it's like now it is more harder, more, uh, now it's more small than it was and you, 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 you are promising or what you are thinking, it has not come to pass. It is a process, my brother. Why are you feeling fainting? Why are you feeling like quitting? It is a process. I came to remind you that it is a process God is using to elevate you. No, God no matter uses your mind, whereby you face, uh, you, God wants you to face now the problem, to understand the problem and to understand it is a process. No, God wants you to stop blaming others. You know some of us, when we are in that problem, you start thinking, I could not have borrowed the loan. It was it not so and so. I could not have done like this. I could not be here. It was it not so and so. God wants you now to mature up and to make a choice such that I know I'm in crisis, but now I know I will not remain here forever. Season comes and go. They, they do not not, uh, uh, they are not there forever. You make a choice that I'm going to face this problem head on correction. Whether I fail, I met a fail trying more than fail blaming others. God want to make a choice. Now, uh -huh, if you go to uh, uh, to Job 34, verse 3 and verse 4, the Bible says, the greatest gift that God gave you, it is ability to make a choice. Hallelujah. You choose what you want to hear. You choose what to do. You choose what to eat. And you choose what to do at any time. Praise the name of the Father. And in such a time, Aha, uh -huh. there are other many voices that comes to us. The other voices are telling you, if it is me, I could have quitted. And sometimes you feel I could have taken drugs. I want to talk to you. Don't go for drugs. It is a process. And some of us, we feel, aha, uh -huh. I can now quit the marriage. I can now quit the job. I can close the business. I can restart it over again. But I came to tell you, don't shut the business. Don't quit the ministry, don't go to drug, it is only a process and God is intending you to make a wise choice that you can face it, you can go with it, you can learn with it for it will not be there forever I told you, God beautify every year with his goodness and in his path, he, 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 he beautify it with abundance of greater things, he does not contradict himself he does not blag himself. He knows what he says. And he says, and it will come to pass. So I want to encourage you. Don't you feel scared? Because in this process, many people feel scared. Because you don't know what will follow the other. Because you don't know what will come after that. I want to encourage you that no matter what, God wants you 
to make a wise decision that you can still grow, that you can still change. I want to give you an example whereby you want to use a piece of plywood whereby it was uh, put in, in a grass for many years but you want to use it. When you go and remove it, so many things crawl away. You might find a lizard crawling, you might find a snail, you might find a snake, but that does not mean that you cannot use the plywood. The issue is no matter what is crawling, you can change still. Hallelujah. No matter what you have seen, after removing the plywood, you can still use it. No matter you know, the problem is these things are coming up because now you have noticed that you need to change something. There is something that you want to give in. There is something that you want to beautify. And the devil is knowing that when you mature up and when you stand firm, you are going to go higher. That is why he's discouraging you, telling you that you cannot be able, telling you, giving you an offer that you can quit the ministry and survive others are surviving. But I want to tell you that don't be scared. Don't be frustrated. Don't feel that you can fade. Stand firm. Our God is faithful. He's going to work with you. He's going to learn with you. He's going to stand with you because his promises are yes and amen. Hallelujah. Aha, if I can tell you that it is only the beginning because now the choice is very hard. You know, uh, when I take an example of somebody in diet, when you realize that you, are, uh, you want to uh, minimize your size, you say that you are going to be on a diet. The very first day, it is very tough and you feel the body is weak. You see food and you feel I can eat now, but you have to discipline yourself no matter how hungry I will feel. I will maintain my decision at that I am on a diet. You know the, uh, the, the reason why you are in that situation because you are in the process of making a decision. Do you know why you are feeling that you, 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 you are lost? You are feeling that you are, you are supposed to quit? It is because it is a fast day. Even when you are doing the exercises, the legs pain, the whole body pain, it only you are feeling the pain because you are in the process. God is making you something. He wants you to make a choice that no matter how hard the process is, I will continue. No matter what, what will happen, no matter what will be said, no matter what. And you know, when God was training Jeremiah, you are not alone. Jeremiah was there. God told Jeremiah, go deep, 1,000 cubic meter down, and you will tell me what you can hear. Jeremiah went down, but still God told him, aha, go again until the time he said, I cannot hear anything else. Now speak to me. God wants to make sure that before you make any choice, other voices are quiet because God wants you to concentrate on him. God wants you, before you make any choice, ask him, am I doing the right thing? Am I on the right track? Am I doing the right thing? Am I making the right decision? And when you involve him, he is there for you. You know when you involve him, the, the, the process become very easy. I have learned in everything that I do, even when I see that things are very difficult, tough and they are like mountain on me. I just involve God. And all the time when I involved God, God made sure that the, 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 the burden become easier. The reason why you are feeling even you cannot make a decision. And many people say, I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to go. I don't know whether to come back. I am telling you, your answer belongs to the Lord. Then uh, the Lord hold your answer and he's not there to frustrate you or to shame you in the presence of your friends, in the presence of your enemies. He's there to keep you standing, to maintain your level and also to tell you, my brother, you can make it. That is why he said to me today to tell you the choice you are looking for, it is with the Lord. What you're supposed to do is to keep moving. Hallelujah. And I am feeling, even when I'm talking to you, there are people who are making the wrong decision this morning and they are saying, I will sleep, I 
will not go to the place of work. I want to tell you, wake up, go. It is only a process. What you are going is a process. It is not to finish you. It is not to kill you. It is to harden you to be a man, the kind of a man God wants you to be. The other people who are feeling, who are, who are just about to make a decision, I will not be going to the church. And others have already made the decision because God did not fulfill what he had said last year. Uh -huh. You are saying, now even preachers are liars. We are not liars. We are there. We were there once more and we were like you. And we realized it is a process that God uses. The problem is you are, uh, you are told that you are going to be blessed. But how? You are not told. And that is why God said me to tell you it is a process. God is going to use a process. Maybe and you are there in your you, you are in this situation. Should I quit the press? Should I quit the job? Should I quit the marriage? Should I, should I go away? Should I run away? No! Stand still! It is a process. In due time, God is going to hold you. You know, aha, uh -huh, the, the man of God called Elijah was in this state of making a decision. Should I worship the Baal God? Should I worship this God of Jezebel? But he decided, I will learn and hide myself in the, in the cave. There are so many people who are hiding there and I know you are there and you are, you are watching me. Wake up. Don't hide yourself in the grave. Eat and drink for the journey is still longer. You are going too far. You are going very far. That is why I'm telling you, arise again and shine and I know God will bless you. We are going out for a break and when we come back, we'll continue with the process that God normally uses. You cannot lose hope. This is not the time to lose hope. This is not not the time to quit. This is not the time to say that you are done. No, wake up still. You have another chance. God is giving you another chance and we are going out for the break. But when we come back again, we are going to continue. Enjoy the worship and I know God will bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you. God bless you so much. Uh, it is a very wonderful worship and we appreciate God for his presence. Before we went for a break, I was talking about the third uh, process and I said God uses a choice when you are supposed to make a choice. Now the problem has clopped in, the problem is bigger, the problem has knocked the door and maybe you have welcomed the problem and you have entertained the problem. Now you want to make a choice. I want to tell you there are people who have been there before you and what you are feeling they were feeling the same but what did they do they, they they encourage themselves in the Lord that is why we are reading them in the Bible and I was saying that one day uh -huh, the, the, the man of God called Elijah sometimes he went to the, uh, uh, and called and people were worshipping the idol God and he said I have gone and I will come after three months and the Bible says there was no rain there was no and he, uh, he, uh, he could not have uh, reminded himself that because he's still in that land, even where he will be, there will be no rain. So the dryness that will be felt by El, even including him, but he said, I will come. When you realize that God is God, sometimes the, the, the decision that we make in our rise will determine how high we can go, how low we'll go. In fact, immediately after that, Jezebel came and, 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 and scared him and he said, I will clash you, I will kill you like the way you killed our birds, uh, our worship. And the Bible says, Elijah was scared and he ran and he hid himself somewhere. And the Bible says, God called him, Elijah, wake up, eat and drink for the journey is still longer. I want to tell you, you know, when you want to change something, uh, Ah, the, the, the situation will all of a sudden change and you know you are changing for a better you are changing for better now when you start shining you know when you make the voice decision you will automatically start shining you, your star will shine now the devil want to make sure that before you shine the decision will look agree it will look scarlet 
and things will turn up. Uh, the deal will look as if you have done a long uh, desertion. But I want to encourage yourself in the Lord that wake up, change, change your mentality, change your negativity to positivity, change. Uh, and I know God will lift you to another level. Pain will get worse before it get less. Hallelujah. When you see that that pain is so much, it is getting worse and worse. It normally get worse before it get less. So when you see things are bitter, when you see things are clopping in day after day, just realize it is a process. They get worse and then it comes down and subside and you cope with the situation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There was another example that when the Israelites were in the wilderness, things were greater. Hallelujah. And when God told them, I will give you the land of your own. And God said, Moses, go and liberate my people. The Bible says when they reach in the wilderness, when they look ahead, there was a river. When they look aside the mountain, both sides, when they look back, their enemies were coming learning. It's like they are we, they were in the desert. They were in the valley of desertion. What do we do if we go ahead? This is a river, and we might die there all. When we go back, our enemies are coming. When we look at the both side, there is a mountain. But when they were in that possession, God wanted them to look up. When you see ahead, there is a problem. At the back, it is a mountain, and no sides, there is no hope. God is telling you, look up. I am still Alpha and Omega. I am the beginning and the end. I am still your Jehovah. I am still Alpha and Omega. Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah who cares for you. He wants you to look up. Now I know I am talking to you. All oh, sides, there is no light and everybody has learned away from you. Everybody does not want to see you now. My friend, look up in heaven where your health comes from. God wants you to remember that he is in heaven. Turn your face to God. Tell him he is all knowing. He knows what he is doing. It is a process. Hallelujah. It is a process. And I remember uh -huh, when I was talking about Christmas, you remember these women, those, those, those people that were following the star. They followed the, the long direction. The direction you are just about to take, it is not the right way. Look the son of man where he belongs. Hallelujah. Do the right thing at the right time. And the Bible says when they went according to their own understanding, Instead of getting the son of God, they get Heronde. So wherever you are going, it is not the right decision. Look up until when they realized there was a star coming from north to south. There was a star that was directing us. God wants you to look up and to tell him what you are going through. It is not to kill you. It is not to frustrate you. It is not to destroy you. It is a process. And God wants want you to look at heaven. And when you look at heaven, God may open your eyes that you may see the, 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 the multitude that is on you. You know there was a time that God called Elijah and God uh, and, and people are saying we are going to be killed. We are here. The, our enemies have surrounded us. But God uh, touched his servant and he said, may you open these people their eyes so that they may see the, uh, the, 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 the soldier that are on our side because them that are on our side are more than them that are against us. My friend, I want to tell you the help that God has for you, it is more greater than the problem you can see and the problem you are seeing today, you will never see it again. If at all you know, it is a process that God is using. So I want you to walk shoulder high. I want you to walk as if nothing is happening. I want you to change your mentality. Learn to talk to your problem. Learn to talk to your things. Tell them, change your mentality and prophesy to your situation. And know that I know I did know that is a process, but now that I have understood, I will go higher and higher. Keep on working for God. Keep on serving God. When you see all those choices, it is to tell 
knew that you are in the third. Now you are in you are not in the first process. You are in the third process. So and you are going towards your destiny. Where you started, it is not where you are today. You are going higher and higher. And greater are the who will uh, pro, who will uh, persevere until the last minute because their star will shine. Hallelujah. What God promised you this year, it is coming to pass. What you need, it is to make a wise choice. And the wise choice, it is to look at heaven, look to the Lord, hang on the, lean on the, his promises, tell him he's waiting for you. He is in need of your, uh, uh, your voice. You are just about to quit and you have not told him that you are quitting. You know, God likes it when you tell him as it is. I have learned one thing, to tell God as it is. When I feel I'm discouraged, I go to the Lord and tell him, God, come we talk. Here I am. I'm feeling frustrated. I am feeling disrespected. I am feeling I can quit. When you tell him as it is, he will change you. He will stand with you because you have made him a strong tower where you uh, the righteous land and they get their help. So I'm encouraging you. Do not quit. Do not die. Do not quit my the ministry. Do not quit the job. Do not lean away from your family. Stand firm. Um, it is a process. Process number four. We call it a, a comprehension. I know you are watching me and I know you are understanding. So process number four, we call it a, a comprehension whereby God wants to deal with you. God deals with your inner being. When he comes, he wants you to comprehend with what is happening. Hallelujah. He wants you to understand and he's asking you, can't you understand? I stand with you. I promised. Can't you understand my process? Even when I started with you, I put concern with, in you. I put crisis. I made a choice. You are to make a choice now I want you to comprehend because now you are not at the beginning. You are, the process is still continuing. Process number four. I have said it is a comprehension whereby you comprehend. The Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 12 and verse 2. Uh -huh. uh, be, uh -huh. Now be changed within your new way and thinking. The true hands be changed by a new way of uh, God's way. Hallelujah. Now, God wants you to change the truth that can change you. You can pretend that you have changed, but you cannot go far. You can only act as you have changed, but change itself will come from your eternity. Unless you decide to change, God cannot, uh, pro, uh, God cannot continue with you. Unless you decide, now I will comprehend, I will talk about it as if nothing is happening, I will learn with it, I will enjoy it as if nothing is happening, God cannot lift you to another level. And I know you are there and you are watching me and you are saying, Pastor, before you continue, pray for me. And I want, it is very true, I want to pray for you because uh, uh -huh. We are going, uh -huh. the producer is telling me the time is almost up, but I want to pray for you because I know God loves you. Before we come to comprehension and tomorrow morning, wake up early in the morning because we'll continue with this phase number four of comprehension. And I would like you to understand it more better. And I know God bless you. So let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you. Help us, Lord, not to, to lean on our own understanding. Make, help us to make a good choice. As we go to the fourth level, of comprehension. God help us. We know that you live with and you know with us. We thank you and we love you. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. I was your preacher, Pastor Mother Mboche from Kariobagi South. When you come there, you will get us and every third Friday of the month we normally have our Kesha there. So welcome, most welcomed. Enjoy the worship and we meet tomorrow morning, the same hour, the same station the same program. God bless you. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Till tomorrow morning.